Hello, my friend. I hope you're happy. I hope you're peaceful. We're on a spiritual adventure at the moment where we're freeing our minds from the blocks and bonds that constrain it. And one of the key things that holds our minds captive is stress. When it starts building, it can seep into everything that we do. So how do we free ourselves from stress? Welcome to Mindfulness for Beginners. Stress has a huge impact in our lives. Headaches, low mood, insomnia, high blood pressure. Some of that list is familiar to me and I'm sure it is to you too. And three quarters of us feel overwhelmed or unable to cope in any given year. And that feeds into our whole lives, particularly our interactions with other people. We've all had times where we've said things we regret or we've used a snippy tone because we've been under pressure. So it's really important for us to train ourselves to deal with stress when things are going well, to be aware when our stress levels are rising, and then to tend to it with compassion. And a key risk when we get stressed out is that our good practices go out the window and our bad habits come screeching back into the picture. One of the first things that can go is our mindfulness practice. So make sure that you're practicing every day during the good times so that you can maintain it when times are tough. And 15 minutes at the start of every day is enough. And we can also uh, stop doing the wholesome things that keep us in a present moment like exercise, spending time with other people and creative activities. If life is stressful, then consciously schedule time for these things because the things we like to do when stressed, like snacking, watching TV, drinking, social media, all of those will start to push their way in. And these harmful forms of consumption can be habit forming and put us on a path of suffering. So notice when you're doing them and make a conscious choice about how much you consume rather than being an autopilot. But it's also critical for us to train ourselves to turn and face our stress, to smile to your stress, look deeply into your stress. Most of the time we don't ask ourselves the basic question, why am I feeling stressed? We're barely conscious of it because we throw ourselves into consumption and doing. And what we really need to do is to stop, breathe and reflect. And so rather than shutting the door, we need to welcome our stress in, even though that's the last thing we feel like doing, and take some time to understand what the circumstances are, where it's arising, what our reaction is, where this links to in our past, and crucially, what our attachment is that causes us to suffer, because there always is one. For example, if you feel stressed out because of your performance at work, you can meditate on what drives this. It could be the relationship you have with your co-workers. You can look at relationships in the past where you felt unfairly judged. You can understand that your attachment to other people's perception of you is where that stress comes from. And through understanding that golden thread, you can start to let go of your anxiety. And this might sound overwhelming, especially if you've got lots of things that are stressing you out at the moment. But it is possible to liberate yourself from suffering when you take each part and really understand it while feeling compassion for yourself. You're a good person and you deserve to be happy. You deserve to be free of suffering and light in body and spirit. And it is possible. It's actually one of the four noble truths of the Buddha. Happiness is possible. You just need to be kind to yourself and spend some time seeing the world as it really is. When we're stressed out, our perspective gets narrower and narrower, and that's how we end up hurting other people unintentionally. When we apply the spotlight of awareness to it, we broaden it out again and become our true, calm, happy, compassionate selves. Uh, so now we're going to apply uh, our awareness to our anxiety and stresses. I'm going to start with three sounds of the bell and the usual settling in introduction.
firstly, focusing your awareness on your posture. And I would invite you to imagine that you have a thread attached to the crown of your head. And it's gently pulling you upwards to an upright position. Your spine like a stack of coins. Your heart raised upwards and outwards. Your hands comfortably in your lap. And then expanding that spotlight of awareness to your entire body. Noticing where you feel warm or cold. Noticing where you feel tense or relaxed. Becoming aware of the sensation of the clothes against your skin. And the points of contact between your body and the chair and the floor. Shifting your awareness now to your thoughts and feelings. And as we go through the guided meditation, noticing each thought as it arises, and that might be an anxious thought about tomorrow. It could be a happy thought about today. It might be a sad thought about yesterday. Just sitting with each thought for a moment, allowing it to leave, and gently and without judgment, bringing your attention back to your breath. And finally, focusing your awareness on your breath, noticing that column of air between your nose and your diaphragm. Noticing how the air feels cooler on the way in, warmer on the way out. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out. I know I am breathing out. In. Out.
Breathing in, my breath grows deep. Breathing out, my breath goes slow. Deep, slow. Aware of the state of my mind, I breathe in. Smiling to the state of my mind, I breathe out. Aware of mind, smiling.
experiencing the feeling of anxiety in me, I breathe in. Smiling to the feeling of anxiety in me, I breathe out. Experiencing anxiety, smiling. Welcoming my anxiety like an old friend, I breathe in. Sitting with my anxiety, I breathe out. Welcoming anxiety, sitting with anxiety.
seeing the roots of my anxiety, I breathe in. Smiling to the roots of my anxiety, I breathe out. Roots of anxiety, smiling. Breathing in, I establish myself in the present moment. Breathing out, I realize it is a wonderful moment. Present moment, wonderful moment.
as we reach the end of the guided meditation. Just focusing that spotlight of awareness on our bodies. Noticing any areas where you feel calm or relaxed. Any areas where you might feel tense or uncomfortable. And take an opportunity to stretch those areas, like your back or your legs. Noticing any changes in your mind. And if you feel a sense of calm or peace, then setting the intention to carry that through the rest of your day. And just before we finish, a quick reminder that I've got a link in the description for you to express your interest in the Be Calm, Be Happy mindfulness course. Uh, it's a course that changed my life. It put me on this path that I'm on now. I think it can change your life as well. And it gives you a lot of great tools to deal with stress, actually, our theme for today. It's a, a really incredible grounding and in the fundamentals of mindfulness. So uh, there's no commitment. So just click on the link and express an interest for which day would suit you best. Because I just basically want to pick the day uh, that uh, works best for most people. I may be happy, may be peaceful, and may you see yourself through the eyes of understanding and compassion. I've been